Hey guys, it's Gaijin Hunter, and today I want to do a showcase of the aerial style for each weapon in Monster Hunter Generations, or Monster Hunter Cross as we call it here in Japan. Now in case you guys don't know, what happens is you lose your normal evade when you press the forward and B button, but what you get is an aerial somersault. Now during the somersault, it is a little bit of a bigger window, so you have to be careful when and where you do it, but if you land on a monster, a player, a bomb, or anything else for that matter, you'll vault off of it into the air. From there, you can do a special aerial attack. First up, the Great Sword. The Great Sword loses its ability to do charge on the ground, but what you get is this cool jumping aerial draw attack and you get an aerial charge. The aerial charge goes all the way up to three different levels, is about as powerful as a ground level two, but it is really fun to jump up and slash monsters down into their face. Next up, the Long Sword. Now the Long Sword is a little bit more of a technical aerial style, I would say, because the move that you do until you get to white gauge makes it a little hard to pull off. Basically, they've taken the first move of your spirit combo and moved it to the air. So here's one, two, three, and four. And now once you're in white, that's when it becomes a real powerhouse. One jump, and you do a one, two, three, four. So you can get into the gauges much faster once you're in white. It's really fun. The Sword and Shield. The Sword and Shield is one of the more basic aerial styles in that the Vault Attack is an actual attack, so even if you miss with the follow-up one, you're still doing damage. But because it's the Sword and Shield and this does take some time to do, you want to make sure that you land both hits. But if you do, I think you can get a decent amount of DPS and it just makes the Sword and Shield just a little bit more versatile on aerial. You can do stuff like this which is really fun. Next up, the Dual Blades. Now with dual blades there's a few different things. If you're in normal gauge like this you only do a two hit. However you can press R in the middle of the air to switch to demon mode and from demon or arc demon you do this massive flurry of attacks. Now the aerial dual blades does require a lot of stamina management but if you have stamina juice of course it's really good. It's just really crazy for getting off a lot of hits and doing a lot of mounts. Next up the hammer. The hammer is also flexible. You can do X to do a regular attack whenever you want in the air. You can hold R to do an aerial charge. Or if you're pretty confident about where you're landing, you can press A in the air. And if you land the first hit, it'll do a second hit. This is really fun once you know how to do the aiming, as you can see here. It's kind of addicting. The Hunting Horn. The Honey Horn is also very simplistic. You just do this nice, cool two-hit combo. Now, mind you, I'm not hitting them because it's not that good on small monsters, but on large monsters, it's easy to hit. But for these two hits, you can use any button combination you want. This essentially makes it easier to belt off specific songs that you might want to play during a hunt. The Lance. The Lance is all about the new triple hit. Even your charging gets the triple, and if you hit B, you don't do a back hop, you do a forward hop. And from there you do a strong triple hitting thrust. This is really good if you know how to aim and you know where you're going for. I think if you play an elemental type lance or a status lance, this might be a really fun option for you. The gun lance. The gun lance is all about the full burst with normal shots. So once you jump, you press A to do a shot. You can do a slam down and a full burst straight from there. It's great for bringing up your heat gauge, and it's really great for doing just a lot of burst damage. Now this style may not be as good for, let's say, a wide shot where you only have two shells, but for normal shot, it's really fun. One of my favorites, the Switch Axe. The Switch Axe aerial style is a bag of all tricks. You can do the normal axe chop down here. You can do a morph attack. And in sword mode, the first jump is an actual hit, just like the sword and shield, only it does a lot of damage. You can even do an aerial discharge as well if you know that you have an opening. This is especially good because if you vault off a monster and it causes them to flinch because it's an attack, you can go straight into the discharge and get off a lot of damage. Another technical version of the aerial style, the charge blade. Now the charge blade loses the charge attack on the ground, so they've taken the sword attack and they've made it super powered. So if you do it in the air, it'll charge energy into your files faster than normal. Once you have energy charged up into your files, you can then switch to axe mode and do a normal aerial axe hit. Or you can press X and A to do an aerial super discharge, which is really fun. So the idea is you want to aim it so you can hit their head, but when you do, it just feels so good. Now you can do an ultra, which I just whiffed there, but it's not that much more powerful than a super and you lose all of your files, so I don't recommend it. 
Next up, the Insect Glaive. The Insect Glaive, everyone thought the aerial style would be a joke, but look what happens. They take your upward vault and they make it a forward vault. This makes it easy to literally just stalk monsters, track them down, and you get this nice aerial twist if you do a normal attack. On a large monster, this can land anywhere from like 3 to 4 hits. On a smaller monster, it's a little bit harder, but this style is off the rails. It's one of my favorite. It's super fun. Next up, the bow. Now the bow, I'll admit right now, I'm not very good at aerial style, so don't take my plane as a demonstration of how it is. If you press X and A, you'll do a downward shot. This generally hits a weak point on the monster, so it's pretty good. And it does the level 2 charge of your bow. You can then do a melee attack, which I haven't shown, or you can press X to follow it up with a bow shot. Next up, the light bow gun. Now this is another one I admit I'm not very good at, so I may be missing some of the stuff that I'm not showing here. If you press X and A, you'll do a downward shot, but if you have selected the shot that's on rapid, you'll do a rapid succession shot. From there, you can reload or you can do an additional shot, so it's nice for pelting off a lot of damage, and you don't have to worry about critical distance. You can do an aerial reload if you press X as well. And finally, the really fun one, the heavy bow gun. The heavy bow guns light the light bow gun, and you can jump over a monster and you can shoot them, only instead of rapid shots, you want to be using the ones that you have on Siege. But watch this, I have no bullets, right? No big deal. Because after you do the vault, you do an automatic reload, and you do the triple shot. And it throws you away from the monster, and you can go straight into Siege mode. How cool is that? I mean, you can use it to just get out of the way. You can go and grab your mount, or you can just go into Siege. It's your choice. It is kind of funny, though, to see a heavy bow gunner getting the mounts, right? <laughs> So if that happens, just jump over forward and you'll get your mount. I really like the style because, again, it throws you away, um, but it puts you in prime position to use Siege even though you don't have to. Um, it's just a lot of fun. And now some final thoughts. The Aerial style is a great addition to Monster Hunter. I think that they did a really great job of implementing it on all the weapons. And it is kind of a situational thing. I don't think that you're supposed to just say, okay, I'm going to use Aerial style for this entire game. I think what you're supposed to do is to think about your own strength and weaknesses and what type of monster you're up against and how you're good at fighting them. And then choose whether or not you want to go with Guild, Striker, Aerial, or Adept. Because you'll find there are some really interesting combinations, like go on YouTube and look up the Kirin battle with an Aerial Charge Blade. It doesn't sound like it would be a good match, but it really is. I hope you guys are excited to try out Aerial Style and Monster Hunter Generations when it comes out this summer. I'll be getting it as well so I can play with you guys, um, even though I've been tanking a lot of time in Monster Hunter Cross. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the montage and hope you're more excited. Until next time, happy hunting.